You won't find these 10 days in Georgian calendar. How these days mysteriously vanished from the history books. The phantom days of Georgian calendars, an unsolved puzzle of history will be solved today. You need to stick around throughout the video to find the answers. Welcome to Tech Nation. In this video, we're going to explore a fascinating historical mystery that's puzzled scholars and researchers for centuries, the missing week of the Georgian calendar in October. As you may know, the Georgian calendar is the most widely used calendar in the world today, and it's been in use since 1582. But did you know that there's a week missing from the calendar in October of that year? What happened to that week, and why was it removed? Some theories suggest that it was due to a mistake in the calendar's design, while others propose more elaborate and intriguing explanations. So, get ready to dive into the fascinating history of the Georgian calendar and by the end of the video you have all the answers, let's uncover the mystery of the missing week of October. There are many types of calendars used throughout history, with some still in use today. Julian calendar. The Julian calendar was introduced by Julius Caesar in 45 BCE, and it was the standard calendar in Europe for over 1,500 years. It is a solar calendar, with a year of 365 days and a leap year every four years. The Julian calendar is significant because it was the first widely used calendar and it helped to standardize timekeeping across Europe. Islamic calendar. The Islamic calendar is a lunar calendar based on the cycles of the moon, with each month starting with the sighting of a new crescent moon. The Islamic calendar is significant because it is used to determine the dates of Islamic holidays and events, including Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr. Hebrew calendar. The Hebrew calendar is a lunisolar calendar used in Jewish communities to determine the dates of religious holidays and events. It includes intercalary months to keep the calendar in sync with the solar year. The Hebrew calendar is significant because it is used to determine the dates of Jewish holidays and events including Rosh Hashanah and Passover. Chinese calendar. The Chinese calendar is a lunisolar calendar used in China and other East Asian countries to determine the dates of traditional holidays and events. It is based on the cycles of the moon and includes intercalary months and leap years to keep the calendar in sync with the solar year. The Chinese calendar is significant because it is used to determine the dates of traditional Chinese holidays, including Chinese New Year and the Mid-Autumn Festival. Maya calendar. The Maya calendar is a complex system of calendars used by the Maya civilization in Central America. It includes a solar calendar, a lunar calendar, and a 260-day ritual calendar. The Maya calendar is significant because it reflects the sophisticated astronomical knowledge and cultural practices of the Maya civilization. The Georgian calendar, also known as the Western calendar or the Christian calendar, is a solar calendar used by most of the world today. It was introduced by Pope Gregory XIII in 1582 as a reform of the Julian calendar, which had become out of sync with the solar year. The Georgian calendar is significant for several reasons. First, it is widely used as the standard calendar for international commerce, politics, and communication. It is also the calendar used by most countries for civil purposes, such as official documents, government records, and tax filings. Second, the Georgian calendar plays an important role in organizing social and cultural events around the world. It is used to determine the dates of holidays and festivals, including New Year's Day, Christmas, Easter, and many others. It is also used to mark important milestones, such as birthdays, anniversaries, and graduations. The reason for the missing week in the calendar of 1582 is due to a reform that was implemented by Pope Gregory XIII. At the time, the calendar that was being used was the Julian calendar, which had been in use for over 1,500 years. However, the Julian calendar had a flaw in its design. It overestimated the length of a year by about 11 minutes. Over time, these minutes added up, and by the 16th century, the calendar was about 10 days ahead of the solar calendar. To correct this error, Pope Gregory XIII commissioned a new calendar to be developed, which would be more accurate than the Julian calendar. This new calendar, known as the Gregorian calendar, made several adjustments to the Julian calendar, including the removal of 10 days from the month of October in 1582. 
The mystery surrounding the missing week in the calendar of 1582 lies in the fact that some people refused to accept the new calendar and continued to use the old Julian calendar. This led to a situation where different countries and regions were using different calendars, which created confusion and made it difficult to coordinate events and activities. It wasn't until several years later that the Gregorian calendar was widely adopted across Europe, and even today, some countries continue to use the Julian calendar for religious purposes. The mystery of the missing week in the Georgian calendar is a fascinating example of how complex and interconnected our history can be, and how even small changes can have far-reaching consequences. The Gregorian calendar made several adjustments to the Julian calendar, including the removal of 10 days from the month of October in 1582. The new calendar also added a leap year rule that removed leap years in years ending in 00, unless they were divisible by 400. Today, the Gregorian calendar is the most widely used calendar in the world, and it has become the standard for most international activities and events. The missing week of October in the Georgian calendar is a fascinating historical incident that highlights the complexity of calendar systems and their impact on society and culture. The missing week of the Georgian calendar, which occurred due to the transition from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, had several significant impacts on society and culture. Here are some of the key impacts. Improved accuracy of timekeeping. The Gregorian calendar is more accurate than the Julian calendar, and it has a leap year rule that helps to keep the calendar in sync with the solar year. This has improved the accuracy of timekeeping and made it easier to coordinate events and activities across different countries and regions. Standardization of dates. The adoption of the Gregorian calendar helped to standardize dates and made it easier for people to coordinate activities across different countries and regions. This was particularly important for international trade, commerce, and diplomacy. Cultural and religious implications. The transition from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar had cultural and religious implications, particularly in countries that were slow to adopt the new calendar. For example, in Orthodox countries, some religious holidays are celebrated on different dates than in Western countries due to the continued use of the Julian calendar. Historical significance. The missing week of the Georgian calendar has historical significance as it marks an important event in the history of timekeeping and calendar systems. The transition from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar had far-reaching consequences and helped to shape the modern world as we know it. In conclusion, calendars are fascinating tools that have played a crucial role in human civilization for thousands of years. From the ancient Mayans to the modern Western world, calendars have helped us to organize time, track astronomical events, and coordinate cultural and religious traditions. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into the history and significance of some of the most fascinating calendars in the world, including the Mayan, Chinese, and Islamic calendars. We'll explore how these calendars were developed, how they are used today, and what they can teach us about the rich and diverse cultures of our world. So stay tuned for our next video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us on this exciting journey through the history and significance of calendars.